Hello friends! Today's spread is the month ahead spread in detail. I'm not going to actually demonstrate the entire spread because that is that that video would be much longer than I, I aim for my videos to be. The spread is pretty simple. It's lay out one card for each day of the next month and then if you feel like it also put out a capstone card for the energies of the entire month, or what lens you should look at the entire month through. This spread is not one I particularly use very often, but it's good to know about. So I'm going to shuffle up the cards and demonstrate how you would put them all down, and then I'll go through the first week. If you want, you can tell me what you think about the other weeks in the comments. As a quick reminder, I now have links in the description to my Discord server, my personal website, and to my Buy Me A Coffee page. If you're interested in any of those things, go ahead and check it out. That being said, we're going to shuffle up and demonstrate this spread. Okay. We are using the Universal Fantasy borderless edition for this demonstration. It is one of my favorite decks because it is the newer edition of my first ever tarot deck, which was the uh, Universal Fantasy multilingual edition. Okay, so we're going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the first week. One, two, three, four. Okay. Week two. And you would then continue on to the fourth week. Because I don't have quite enough framing space. I'm going to leave it there. Again, this is a demonstration, not a, a full reading. Oh, we do need a capstone card. So I'm going to take the capstone card off of the bottom and we will see what it says. Okay, four of wands is our capstone card. So when I do this, if I'm using a capstone card, I start with that. We have the four of wands reversed. Like all fours, the four of wands is about balancing. It's holding things in the proper state. In this case, because it is wands, it is doing the job completely and then letting it be. Don't go overboard. That is the concept that we should interpret the rest of these cards through. Again, only doing the first week. So the first day of the month, we have Ten of Cups. Completion. Home and family life. Make sure that everything actually got done the month before. Don't have any dangling threads. Card number two, the lovers. So that would be the second day of the month. Intimate relationships require work. Whether that be a close friendship, or your life partner, or with one of your children, make sure to carve out time for those important people in your life. And the cards are saying that the second day of the month would be a good day to do that. Card number three for the third day of the month, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. The Eight of Pentacles is a card about mastery of a craft. Being reversed, it's it's okay to not know everything. Practice your hobbies. Practice the things you enjoy. You don't always have to be the world's best to enjoy something. On the fourth day, we have the Two of Pentacles. This is a choice about money. Be wise. Be balanced. Being upright, it's cautioning against overspending. Card five. For the fifth day, we have the Ace of Cups, Emotional Beginnings. 
I'm assuming this is going to tie back to the second day of the month, the lovers, that part of that discussion, part of that carving time out for that individual led to some thoughts and emotions that needed to be worked through, to be thought about. Next, we have the Five of Cups reversed. The Five of Cups is typically about choices. It's weighing the good and the bad and seeing where you want to go. In this picture, we actually see a figure with two full cups on his balcony, on the railing, and empty cups behind him on the ground. Certain certain options have already gone past. You, you can't go back and get them, but there are still options in front of you. Make a choice. And card seven is judgment. Some Normally this would be something has come to an end. All the, the cards are dealt. There's nothing you can change now. It's just time to wait for the verdict. Being reversed, it's that there's still something you can do. It's not quite over yet. Make sure that you have your ducks in a row. Again, this is a sample of the first week. I could continue, but again, this is a type of reading that you would typically sit with for an hour or two, comparing and contrasting to your emphasis card for the month. And it's this is kind of like a goal-setting thing for each day. When I do a reading like this that involves so many cards, I typically write it down in a notebook. And then at the end of each day, I will go back and review, was there anything that this card referred to during this day? Was there anything that I missed because I wasn't paying attention? This spread is useful for when you are doing readings for yourself. This is more of a look at all the cards, look at their meanings, and then review it as you go through the month. See if your thoughts change about the cards as you go through, as you live the experiences of each day. That sums up my demonstration of the month ahead spread with the daily focus. Again, I, I only did the first week. It's enough for you to understand how it would work as a full spread. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!